Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here. Cool. Apologies if the sun's getting into you. It's right behind me. That's why. So, um, ah, it's, a, it's a really lovely day today, guys, I tell you. Um, hope you're all doing well. So, what are we going to talk about today? Now, I've had a struggle, actually, to think about what to talk about today. But then... Um, and given that I've talked about certain topics, I thought this one was an interesting one. I want to talk a little bit about the time that I've had in America. And uh, obviously, I'm probably going to be having more time in America in the future at some point as well. <clears throat> so I've been, luckily enough, I have an uncle who lives in America, specifically in California, uh, to be precise. Um, and, um, and I'm very fortunate to have had to my family have taken me and uh, taken me uh, to a couple of trips to America. Um, we, we've been there when we were younger. Um, and I, can't, I think it's been nearly a decade now since, I, maybe more since I last been to America, which is kind of a shame. Um, <clears throat> I hope to go back soon at some point. But most of my time that I've been to America, I don't think I've been anywhere else apart from in California. Um, I don't, um, I've not really been any other part and, um, of America. So it would be wrong for me to talk about uh, what New York is like or Washington or Chicago, where, wherever, wherever, wherever in America. Um, I know my parents have, not too long ago, they went on a trip all the way up to Alaska. Uh, which was a fascinating holiday for them. Um, but what about my... So, what's my thoughts and memories of America so far? So, I used to be, when I was a kid, um, my parents would take us um, uh, every now and then when they could afford it, because it's not cheap, obviously. Um, they took us to America, and um, it, they would uh, be fortunate enough that, um, obviously, my uncle... At his own place. It was a very big house. He had a very he had a very good job, and uh, we would uh, all get to um, we would all get to uh, basically stay over there a few nights or whatever. So save ourselves. So my parents would save money not having to buy stay at hotels or motels or whatever. You know whatever, when you go over there. And uh, so I've had a few trips when I was younger. So one of my youngest memories I think of was going to Disneyland in uh, Disneyland in Los Angeles. Los Angeles? Is it outside Los Angeles? And um, I have very little memories of my pieces of memories because I was very young back then. Um, but the one thing I do remember from that, that time there at Disneyland was going on the Jurassic Park ride. Uh, that's probably one of my most memorable the most memory that kind of clicks in my mind when I think about uh, Disney Disneyland, um, it was um, uh, that's probably my only memory that I really have of there. I mean, I'm sure there's other things I did at that time, but I'm, I'm, I don't know. Maybe I've just got brain shortages or whatnot. But one thing I've always remembered wherever I went in America, because because we have the English accent, you know. People, were, people in America were really nice. I don't think I've ever had a time, whenever I've been over, where I've experienced Americans being nasty, mean, or bad to us. I don't think ever. And maybe it's because we always went somewhere safe, I don't know, um, touristy or whatnot. But, you know, I always felt like, you know, people were really nice. And it didn't matter that you were complete strangers. Everyone just said, you know, everyone just seemed very nice. And, that's the kind of perception that I have about America. Now, obviously, as someone who covers news and politics, yeah, you get sometimes painted a picture of what America is like. But unless you've actually been there and met people, you, you really don't know until you've actually been there. And I think that's a very important thing to take into perspective when you talk about other countries. I mean, you're taking it, you're taking it from what news are telling you, not from actually being there in person. But, I remember some of my other memories was we had, um, we even walked the, the, the Hollywood 
Apple Wall of Fame with all the stars as well. That did not, I don't have too much, I, again, I have little memory of that one because I think um, it was quite, I don't know, boring was the right word, but I don't think we stayed in that part for long because there wasn't much there. I don't know, I'm not gonna say not much there. I don't know, maybe my, I can't remember. That's my only memory of that. But I did get to walk the Hollywood Star Wall of Fame, that kind of thing. It was pretty interesting to say the least, shall we say. Um, one of my other memories of America is going to the Grand Canyon, guys. Yes, the Grand Canyon. I will never forget this experience. So this was when we were a little bit older and I do have a lot better memory of it because I was a little bit older than my first memories of America. And I remember my dad, don't know, don't ask me how he drove all day from where my uncle lived because he got hired out of people carry it. It was, quite, it was quite a lot of us. It wasn't just us family. We had one or two, uh, uh, one or two others. And I remember that drive, such a long drive to the Grand Canyon. And my dad got there late at night, absolutely knackered, tired and all that kind of stuff. You know, just, just trying to get into the, the hotel at the Grand Canyon because he just wanted to rest his legs and it was already getting dark and it was like, and you don't have, there wasn't, there wasn't like headlights or whatever. So he, he was getting nervous as hell, obviously, you know, after driving for 12 bloody hours or whatever it is, you know, um, just want to get in. And he only found it. And I remember um, we had to get up super early that day because not only were we doing another long drive, but wanted to see the Grand Canyon because for those who know, if you go around, uh, I think it was February time we went to America, but if you if you if if you want to catch it without like all the tourists bombarding, you've got to get up super early to get the best best views. And I remember, I remember me, I remember being up at five a.m. or something, and uh, you know driving to a spot not too far from the hotel because uh, we were getting already getting all our stuff together to leave it. And um, I remember this spot, and there's a photo of me and my me and my brother and the backdrop of the Grand Canyon. We were tired as hell, but damn was that view an eye opener. It was an amazing, amazing view. Seeing it, the Grand Canyon with my own eyes, it's just a stunning, stunning thing that Mother Nature had created here. I was like, I was like in the awe. I think it was like, there was actually, um, there was actually snow that morning but then as we kept going along to one or two other spots before we moved on the snow was dissipating because the sun it was becoming time was passing it's coming up to eight nine o'clock or whatever and and i remember that the last spot we went to was crowded with tourists and this was like nine o'clock in the morning or something or, or maybe it was uh, yeah eight or nine o'clock in the morning i was like so damn like you couldn't even get onto like ledges and take pictures and that because this massive crowd of tourists were already there. I was like, ah, oh, you know, but we still had our photo, you know, it was an, that early morning of a clear Grand Canyon. Um, um, it was quite amazing, amazing to have experienced it. Another place we experienced was Death Valley. Um, uh, no joke, we had a case, a, you know, one of those, um, you know, in shops, you know where they, they have all the water or drinks or what that, they have it in like uh, massive cases of 24 bottles and that. We had a 24 case bottle full of water right, on our journey because the plan was, uh, was to go from the Grand Canyon all the way to Las Vegas, okay? This is, and he, he did it in a day. Again, my dad, don't know how he did it, but bloody hell, he killed himself. <laughs> I remember us going through Death Valley and I remember we stopped at one point in Death Valley and there was, um, there was, uh, <laughs> I might do this in two part episode guys, actually, cause there's so much to talk about. Um, I remember, um, th I remember we stopped at a uh, river point cause there's these black, black waters, um, really dark waters in there. And I remember getting close to the water and I can't remember who told me or something. I don't know if it was my dad or somebody, but basically he was saying, like, you drink that water, you're going to be dead. 
<laughs> because the water would literally, I was told if you drink the water in Death Valley, it will kill you, literally kill you. <laughs> um, but uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'll talk a little bit more about Death Valley in the next video, guys. But um, yeah, and a little, little bit about my time in, in Vegas and whatnot. So yeah, what are your memories of, of America? Or if you live there, share them in the comments below, guys. And I hope to catch you all very, very soon.